Jets Chaos. You gave your third A plus in our last room rating, and that was to the running backs. You also gave an A plus to the cornerbacks, A plus to the defensive line. Defense, you said, top three in the league, could be number one. Great start to the offense with a B on the offensive line and an A plus at the running back. Are we going wide receiver now or tight end? We are going wide receiver. All right. Where were we last year? Last year, we were a C minus. A C minus. We had a thousand yard receiver out there. Right. But that's all we had. So we had Garrett Wilson. Obviously, it was impacted by having the worst quarterback play. No, get me wrong. Garrett Wilson is a phenomenal, phenomenal wide receiver. He has a chance to be this year top five NFL receiver, and there's no limit to his ceiling. You know, he might be right up there with Justin Jefferson by the end of this year for all we know. I do not have a, a ceiling for this guy. He is amazing. But, you know, a running a wide receiver room nowadays in today's game is more than one elite guy. And I'm not saying you have to have two elite guys, but you have to have a lot of depth and be, you know, and have a lot of talent in your wide receiver room. Outside of Garrett Wilson, they're just, it wasn't there. Um, Corey Davis can't stay on the field. When he does, he'll ruin things with drops sometimes. Um, as much as potential as he had, and as much as we want him to succeed, it just didn't happen um, for those reasons. Barrios fell off a cliff. You know, I mean, when a wide receiver costs you a game for dropping a pass in the end zone that literally, you know, hits his chest and it, and it costs you the entire game. Maybe the season. Yeah. I mean, maybe everything is different if he holds on to that football. So it just wasn't pretty, you know, and, and Denzel Mims never panned out. So he was just never able to really put it together. There's just really nothing to speak about in that room. And Moore was a crybaby. I mean, Moore was the worst. Worse than Berrios was Elijah Moore. I mean, who, who, anytime it's like the it's the Weber, right? Golden State nine and zero. Weber starts crying and complaining because he's not the, he's not getting enough number one looks in the offense of the basketball team. Same thing. Elijah Moore winning games, he's crying, and then he has to go home, and it's a distraction for the team. And you know, how can I you know how can I give anything higher as a grade? When, when you have all this going on. Okay, let's move to this year then. I mean, I mean, under, understand it's a complete F without Garrett Wilson. You know, he he factors in for the entire grade. Now we go into this year. Going to be better because we're going to have a better Garrett Wilson. Because now Garrett Wilson is going to have a quarterback for one. But also it's night and day when a wide receiver comes into their second season and they're a hard worker and they're a person that's learning and growing. He has more confidence. He's stronger. He he's been through the process, and I mean, you can't say enough about when you go from the thirty second, you know, the worst quarterback play in the NFL, and now you get a future Hall of Fame quarterback to throw you the ball. We're really going to get to see what Garrett Wilson can do. And it's not only throwing the ball, because Aaron Rodgers has all these secret signals, right? He has all these audibles. He calls. He calls his audible sometimes with a look at Garrett, like they're already working on reading each other's mind. So now you have a guy that just like hints with his head or something and you reroute. So it's not just his arm, it's also his brain. Brain to brain connection is gonna light up the skies. I think he'd get in the area of 15 touchdowns. I think he'd get in the area of 15 to 1700 yards. I think he'd get into the area of 115 to 120 receptions. I have, And I don't think it's outlandish to say it. If you've been watching this kid, He's open every play. He has a guy who can get him the football. He's 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 in a running back room that is not built two elite guys and then scrubs. He's in a room with one elite wide receiver and a bunch of role players and guys who are okay in their role. But there's no clear number two powerhouse receiver or you know a premier receiver. But Andy Lazard has it. You know he has dropping issues, but he also is very big and strong. He is a good target in the you know end zone, first downs, third and eight. You know, Lazar is a guy who can get contested balls because he's so big and strong. He's really good for Aaron Rodgers because Rodgers has played with him for years, knows his instincts, knows what he's going to do. So he plays a really good role for us. So it's a solid guy to have out there. Then you have a guy like McCall Hardman, 
who is important to have on a team because he's a guy that keeps the defense honest. When he's on the field, they, they can't play their safeties. And if they do, thank you very much because Hardman will get right past them. And now you're playing with, you know, touchdown possibilities. So he's going to keep the, 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 the safeties back when he's on the field. So that's a really strong thing. We took a loss in Corey Davis, but remember, Corey Davis hasn't been available the last two years. So it's hard to feel the loss of something that you never even had. You were just hoping for. Um, and then you got a just a slew of just, well, first you got Cobb, Randall Cobb, who you do not want to count on as a primary receiver, but I promise you Randall Cobb is going to make some big plays this year because that's what he does with Rodgers. He's a veteran guy. He's a leader. He's great in the locker room. He's great in the wide receiver room. Great veteran. Knows the quarterback really well. They have an endless history together. He's going to make some big plays for us. And then you got all these young guys, right? You got this quick Xavier Gibson guy. He's a possession guy. A guy who, if they try, if they give us the short game and take and try to take away the long game, this guy will, if we bring him in, could eat the other team alive. He's like another McCall Hardman. Gives us lots of speed. Then we have Brownlee, another young guy that is looked very good, gets contested catches. You know, we've all been very high on him. And they even kept Irv Charles, who's like a 230 pound, six foot four beast. So there's a lot of size there. We kept seven wide receivers. I don't think we'll keep seven the whole year, but I think there's a limitation in the room. Obviously, there's no clear WR2. But I think there's a lot to build on in there. There's a lot of, of potential excitement. And I do believe that Aaron Rodgers has proven that he only needs one elite wide receiver to dissect another team. So what's the grade? I'm going to say that they're going to be a B. I'm glad you said B because if you went any higher, I was going to throw, throw doubt at that. And because as good as Garrett Wilson is, there's no amazing other target except potentially – some of the running backs and maybe tight end. So there might be other targets that take the pressure off of Wilson at times. Well, that's the kind of team we're going to be, you know, like people will look at the wide receivers where I'm grading them as a room. I'm not grading the passing attack and yeah. volume of weapons because Dalvin Cook, Michael Carter, Brees Hall are all dangerous receiving targets. Yes. Well as Conklin. Um, and we haven't even seen the potential of Rucker yet. I still believe Rucker's going to end up, in the long run, being a very decent receiving tight end as well. So we've come up from a C minus to a B, which is another great escalation in our offense. And you have to remember, this is from a team that started the season actually okay and then lost some close games where any kind of quarterback play, which we haven't talked about yet, would have made the difference. But in every other aspect, you've already upped the team in every room, in every room. Yeah, yeah. I mean... It's it's exciting. I I I mean, because Garrett Wilson, I think we're counting on him to grow and improve. It's probably the room where we grew the least, arguably, arguably from where we start, from where we started last year. Because we didn't know Elijah Moore was going to do that. We didn't know Corey Davis was going to be unavailable, you know. But if we get the full seventeen games of this room with limited injury, it's definitely a, a very big upgrade. It's undisputable. I also think that Garrett Wilson is going to do amazing, amazing things. And it's going to be so much fun to watch. It's going to be really exciting to have a premier wide receiver. Yeah. It's, it's been a while. It's, it's been, been a, a while. while. It makes me want to say, go, go Jets! Jets. <laughs>